Hi, Kim. It's Tiffany. How are you? Hey, um, there is a tiny puppy here. His name is Duke. Duke. That were, um... They saw yeah. the dog. Duke, is he in there? No, they're coming here. We're bringing the dog. Oh, okay. They're not here yet. No. Good morning, everyone. I know. Like, like last night wasn't the hardest. Just trying to get through last night with the little dog Sassy that I still can't believe happened. Heartbroken beyond words. And then I'm at the rescue house. Tiffany's at the rescue house one. I'm at rescue house two. And I receive a call from a girl who is in tears with I, I can hear a screaming crying dog in the background apparently it's a puppy okay that should be better sorry about that uh, apparently it's a puppy in need crying screaming in the car she has no money so I am here again back at Blue Pearl specialty 24-hour animal hospital there's no break in sight um, there's no time to heal a broken heart because there's so many in need. So I just grabbed Tiffany and rushed over here to the animal hospital where she's going to be meeting me. I don't know what's going on with the puppy. I just know that it's a tiny pit bull puppy. Um, and I'm just waiting for her to pull up. That's where I stand right now. For anybody that's jumping on, this is Amy. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. And I am awaiting the arrival of an urgent emergency call that I just received. I'm recapping from a young girl who I heard a, a puppy screaming in the car. And she asked if we were open and I said we're by appointment only that she wanted to come to the facility. Um, she mentioned a dog named Duke. I said we don't have a Duke. She said no, I have Duke. I said, well, what's going on? And she said that he's screaming, he's crying, he won't stop. Um, apparently they have been to this animal hospital already. They dewormed the puppy and she said he won't stop screaming and crying. So I told her to meet me back here so I can see what, what's, I don't even know what's happening. Deuce, deuce, not Duke, deuce. Okay, so apparently she was given instructions and wasn't following the instructions. So we need to get this puppy out of this girl's hands and take care of this puppy. Yeah, let's see what the girl, we'll see what the girl says when she gets here. She was not far, so she should not be far. It just doesn't end. It doesn't end, guys. You're waiting with me. I'm waiting. I don't know what's hap I don't know what's going to be presented in front of us. But Did she say where she was coming from? She said she was right near Oakland. I got here faster than she did. She knows where it is because this is where she was. Sadly, no. Sassy did not make it. Um, she was at the very end stages of her trachea. She has, she was having, she couldn't breathe. She was suffocating. They gave her all the medications they could and nothing was working. And we had to make the very, very toughest decision, toughest decision to let her go. It has been a horrible, horrible night horrible my head has been pounding ever since it hasn't stopped pounding I want to thank you all for your prayers it was very hard to watch that video um, very hard to watch that video and I want to say thank you to Zoe and Colleen for running to get her um, I spoke to the finder of the dog of Sally sassy sorry I'm all over the place and she said that she was doing that in her house along with peeing blood 
that she found her on the streets in Little Havana and was overheating, couldn't breathe outside. She was a, an older dog. She had a lot of medical issues going on. So just sometimes you can't save them all and it's very, very hard to swallow. That's all I'm gonna say. What did you guys find on the dog? I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna have you read over this okay. for now until they come out. Okay. So you guys know more. Okay. Thank you. <sighs> they wanted to see a neurologist. Jesus Christ. Six weeks old. Where is this girl already? She said she was right around the corner. Hi. Where did you get the dog from? A friend? How long have you had the puppy? Like four days. I got him Monday, Monday night. Okay. 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 Do you need the paperwork? Yes, Put please. Here. Could you? Oh no, we got oh, the. Wait. We got it. Oh, we got it. Yeah, we got this a copy. Right? You got a copy of this? It's okay. Yeah. Shh. The second time we came, they didn't give us the paperwork. Okay. Did you vaccinate this dog at no. all? Nothing. No. What have you been feeding? Uh, um, I think it's called blue. Blue buffalo. Yeah. Puppy. Okay. okay. And we watch him 24-7. He doesn't calm down. Does he sleep? Yeah, he slept and then... Has he been like this since you got him? To your house? No. No, no just all of a sudden? Well, yesterday when we got home from the errands, we brought him with us. And then when we got home, my mom was carrying him and he started foaming and he was shaking. And then, um, when he got up, he kept bumping into things with his head. Okay. And then, um, he finally calmed down, and then he started pooping the worms. Okay, so he had worms, okay. Yeah. okay. So then we right. brought him here. And okay. then on the way, he, he fell asleep. So when he went inside, he was pretty calm. And then they calmed him down more, we took him home, he fell asleep. When he woke back up, the first few minutes, he was fine, and then he started, um, foaming again and shaking. What's the foaming at the mouth? What do, you, what do we do here? If they're saying they... they we, we should see trial. Do they know he was foaming at the mouth and all that? Yes. When did you have... When was he here last? Last night. Oh, last night. Last night. What did Trow say? I need to speak to Dr. Yeah. Trow. All right. Yeah. Um, I don't know because the, the, the first time he just said it was like, you know, the worms and then... It was at a male doctor? It was Dr. Yeah, no, Dr. Okay, no, we need to see Dr. Trow. She's here. She's amazing. She's the best. Yeah, and then the second time he came, he's like, he's blind. I'm like, oh. Okay, yeah, okay, we'll take care of this. I'm going to go. I'm go ahead, go. go, go, go. His name is Deuce? Deuce, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Dr. Trow is here. They have different doctors. I'm not, I don't know who it was. We are a rescue, obviously. We go to no end of the earth to do whatever it takes. If he needs to see a neurologist, he'll go to a neurologist. But right now, Dr. Trow is here. She's a specialist. So we're going to see. Let's see what she says. Okay. I mean, you love this dog. You have the means to take care of him. Do you want to see what we can do first before you surrender the dog over? Yeah. He said to take him to a specialist. I know. Uh, but let's see. Money. I understand. Let's see what Dr. Trow says first. Okay. I, what, I mean, do you... I Honestly, honey. I mean, people get dogs. I'm not judging you by any means dogs are very they're like do you have any children no but we have another dog you do okay do you have an apartment a house, a house. okay okay and what's your work well you're not working now right mm. why aren't you wearing a mask it's, it's oh. right here, mm -hmm. actually. and you too mommy where's your mask it's in the car. um what's your work schedule on a normal base like a normal routine it fluctuates i you, work in retail Okay, so how many hours is the dog alone in your house? Um, Average. Which, which one? The any dog? any dog, yeah. Um, 
Four <laughs> hours, six hours, eight hours? Four. Four hours? Yeah. Okay. It sleeps inside? Yeah. Inside. Okay. Yeah, we adopted him from the shelter. You and adopted him from the shelter? From the airport, by the airport. Broward Animal Control? Really? About six years ago. So oh, the dog you have now. now but yeah. this no, one, I got gotcha. you. Okay. This one was from a friend who was somebody yeah. had a litter. Okay. Yeah. Have you spoken to the friend to see if any of the other puppies are having any issues? No, not really. Is it a close friend? Yeah. Uh, like an acquaintance. Acquaintance. Yeah. You should call and ask, you know, if, the, if any of the other puppies are showing signs yeah. of anything. Um, did you meet the mama dog? Yeah, I met the mama. Yeah. yeah. What kind of dog was she? Uh, Do they know you're waiting? Okay. I can open it. It is now. So, yeah, and he says that that's what the dog, the dad would look like. Because he said it was a random dog. That so that was the his. mom, that was the mom of the whitish dog? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's all. Beautiful. Oh my God. Spay and neuter people, spay and neuter. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to wait um, for Dr. Trow to come out. And obviously they had a couple emergencies when we pulled up. See what she thinks, what we can figure out, and um, go from there. You're more than welcome to wait in your car. I don't know how long it's going to take. You have my number, but we're going to see what, what's going on, okay, and what her recommendations are for the puppy. And that's not, I mean, that's not normal, that whole um, crazy excited. In, in the foaming at the mouth. How many times did the puppy foam at the mouth? Twice. In the past 48 hours, 24 hours? Okay. The dip, the, do you know if the puppy, like, do you have a fenced in yard where you live? Do you know, did you let the puppy roam around the yard and such? Yeah. Okay. Do you know if he got into. Do you watch him when he's outside? Yeah, watch him. So he's never out there unattended. And he didn't get into anything or eat anything or toad or anything yeah. like that. Right. Like Pull it out of its and, mouth. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Um, and I'm wondering, did they do, do you know if they did a parvo test on the dog? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. All right. Oh, we're going to, I'm going to see what's going on. Okay. Are you going to wait around? Yeah, we're okay. Wait. okay. What's your first name? Andrea. Andrea, I'm Amy. Nice Great. to meet nice you. To no toad. They would have, it, that, they would have known. He's non-stop, huh? Okay. Did they do a parvo test on him? I don't think so. She said she didn't think so. No. Um, I think we need to do a parvo yeah. test. They have two emergency Are you serious? Yeah. So we have to wait. Blood work declined. What does that mean? Yeah, I guess they wanted to do blood work and she didn't. Oh, well, we have to do blood work. Yeah. Hey, Baba. Hey, baby. Do okay. see. It's okay. Like a little music? Hi. Hi, boys. Hi, puppy. We're going to get you what Black you need. Black sand debris inside mouth and gums. What? Black sand debris inside mouth and gums. Could have eaten something. Yeah. So he could have eaten something, and he needs probably some IV fluids. He's not blind. He's looking right at me. He's not blind. I think he needs some IV fluids. I'm not a no doctor, but blood work and IV fluids. He selected not to pursue diagnostics or to keep him here in the hospital to be monitored. It is very important that he be watched closely for the next 24 hours for any changes. Hi, Bobos. I pray to God it's not parvo. Yeah, they didn't do any blood work, so no, we need to do a complete blood panel. Complete blood panel. We need they to did not do parvo. We need to do parvo, and they need to monitor him. Yeah. Yep. This is why. Which yeah, there you go. So they gave him a cap star. And deworming. They gave him deworming. And he's been pooping worms. Yeah. She told me. 
some spa music, Deuce? It's okay. Just a baby. Six it's weeks okay. of age. She showed me the photos of the mama that she got from Broward. No, the mama of this. Sorry, I'm confused. She showed me a picture of the mama of this and the hey. daddy and the puppies that were lined up like ten puppies. There's another dog at home that she rescued from Broward. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Calming down. It's okay. You're okay. You're okay. He likes the spa music. Sorry if it's bothering you. Yeah, so Not sorry. Going so fast. Yeah, he's stressed out. It's okay. It's okay. They probably didn't have the money. Um, she's, you know, it's okay. probably didn't have the money to do the testing, the blood work, the monitoring. Regardless, he's going to get everything right now. Kisses. Hi. Yeah, he's got a twitchy. Yeah. yeah. His head. He's like that bit. Yeah, you go, sweet boy. Yes, guys, we need your help by donating, please. We're going to be running testing here, full Maybe. testing, um, and see what happens from there. If he needs to go to a specialist, then we have to take Thank him to you. a specialist. But we need to be, he needs to be diagnosed. They didn't do any blood work. Apparently they didn't have the funds. You know, I see, I see his head. His head is wobbling. It's not his body, it's just his That's head. like a distemper thing. Could be. He's had no vaccines. Are any of the other puppies having any issues? I asked her to call and see, but apparently. What are you looking for? Well, I was going to see if I had any water in the car. No, I looked for that already. I left it at the house. You can ask him. Is it cool enough? Yeah. He was uh, dewormed, given a cap star because he had fleas. Six weeks of age, little boy, puppy, that she got from a friend. No vaccines, no blood work. Hi, Kim. It's Tiffany. Hey, any chance you can bring just a small cup of water out that we can give this puppy? Thank you. New text message from Carol, my heart. What are you doing? What are you doing? He likes the bed. <laughs> Soft, huh? Yes, they can be treated if, they, if dogs have parvo um, and distemper. It's just, it's costly. Some moments he's calm, and then other. Yeah, but even when he's calm, he's at the. I didn't like his. Uh, I didn't like what they said about finding. Black dirt. Black dirt in his, in his mouth. mouth. I mean, he's a puppy, but. Yeah, but he could have eaten some kind of weird. Yeah. Plants. In their yard. Or... It was from her yard. She said she would be out there with him all the time, but he had fleas. Hi, Deuce. Hi, Deuce. Hi, little monkey. Hey, sweet boy. I know. I know. I mean, could you imagine? I mean, if she couldn't find anyone, she would have probably taken him to the shelter. Hey, baby. Can't afford the care. Yeah, we need to uh, definitely take care of him and 
find him the best home, God Maybe. willing. Everything's Where okay. Where are you going? You cannot go that way. No, no, no. You're going to flop over and hurt yourself. We don't no. need that. Do you have to stay here? There's no kids in the house, she said, so. I personally think he, once we get the testing done, definitely some fluids maybe to flush them out, but they'll know better. Dr. Tarawa is amazing. She'll know better. She's going to run all the tests that they did not allow her to run, and it wasn't her. It was a male doctor. According to her, the male doctor came out, said, you need a neurologist, and he, he's, we think he's blind. Yeah, That's what he came out. New text says message paper, from Carol, my heart. It also says that, that everything was denied. Declined. They have no money. Right. No, I, her dog, her personal dog does not live outside. <laughs> no, I'm worried about the dog's well-being right now. I'll worry about where the dog's going to go. Okay, you can, I can love a lot of things, but if I do not have the means and I can't take care of a dog or a child, then I, I don't believe that I have, I should have a dog or child. This dog was declined for basic blood work, parvo test, keep monitoring overnight. So she called me and wanted to surrender her puppy because she does not have the means. So if the dog needs medical attention and a lot of money to save this puppy then we need to follow through and if he gets sick again how is this person going to properly care for her dog is the question we can love a lot of things so he could be right back in the same situation again when people adopt from us we always ask if something was to happen, how are you going, could you properly care for the dog if a medical issue arise? Can you care for the dog? Can you afford insurance? Can you, uh, you know, apply? None of us know, I don't know many people that have thousands and thousands of dollars, but we take serious, I mean, right? We all, none of us have, we live paycheck to paycheck and our dogs have insurance. So we, we are responsible. Dogs have insurance over me. <laughs> yeah, I don't even have health insurance have and health neither insurance. does Tiffany. So. No, the puppy is going to stay with us. It's going to get what it needs medically. We'll decide what's going to happen next. Let's just see. Let's just see what the situation is. Again, if you decline basic blood work, parvo test, and you can't afford that, how are you going to afford to take care of an animal long term is the question. You should not get a puppy, a dog, a cat, a bird if you don't have the funds to properly follow through if they need something medically. We all know, look at things happen. Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars later. Because she thought she was adopting a young, cute puppy. She didn't realize and take into consideration the cost. 
obviously, or thinking that anything would happen. But if you don't have the means to properly follow through and care on care for an animal, you shouldn't get an animal. It's plain and simple. It's not her fault. She's a very sweet girl. Same with having children. If you can't afford a child, don't have one. I'm gonna go talk to her for a minute. You got him? I'm gonna talk to her. Absolutely, she did the right thing. I just want to hide. I just want to ask you a question. Did you, by any chance, reach out to the acquaintance and see if any of the other puppies are having any issues? Uh, can, no, you? But I can. can you? Can yeah. you? Um, your current dog at home lives inside, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So moving forward, and this is just as a rescue speaking. If there's something wrong, well, apparently, correct me if I'm wrong. They wanted to do blood work. Parvo and keep the dog, but you said no, you declined? The blood work, we said no. Why? We said it was five, um, $400, and then the... I said it was $500, which is too much. Okay. So you don't have the funds to properly... Okay. Are you willing to surrender the dog? Because if for us to go forward, and he's going to need blood work. He's going to need who knows what, what they find. If he needs to go to a neurologist, it's thousands of dollars. So I, I know you, and listen, I don't have that money either as a personal person. I take out insurance on my dogs so that if something happens, I have credit so I can apply for care credit. How's your credit? Could you apply or would you apply or are you not willing to do that for thousands? No. Okay. So you would need to surrender the dog. Okay. So I'm going to get a surrender form and I'm going to keep in touch with you. You can still stay here. I don't know how long it's going to be. I'm still waiting for them to take him back. But just know something. You did the right thing. I, I'm, this, is, this video is not only to bring awareness and educate. And I'm sorry your heart is hurting. I get it. You did the right thing. You took in a little puppy. You thought you're going to give it a beautiful life. We don't know what's going to be dealt us. Please don't beat yourself up on this, okay? But you know, how old are you? 21. You're a baby. <laughs> you did the right thing. I'm so proud of you because most people wouldn't. You took his interest, what's most important for the puppy first, beside you. So he needs, he's going to need, there's something wrong with him. I don't know what. He did, they did say in the paperwork he had like black dirt or sand in his mouth. Is that just from him being outside or playing? After the filming, he was just roaming around, like we were letting him, because when we were trying to carry him, he... He didn't want to be held, yeah. So, um, he was just, like, roaming around, and I guess he might have... Like, well, puppies are puppies. Yeah. They play in dirt. Yeah. You know, I know my the dogs dirt. are adults, and they still play in dirt. Um, but he definitely needs... The basics right now is the blood work, parvo test, if he needs to stay here, and they need to monitor him like they wanted to you know, run some tests or put IV fluids in him to kind of flesh out his system. That's what he needs right now. And then after that, they can diagnose him and then we can rule out things and then move forward if he improves. But we know walking in this hospital, it's one of the best hospitals. 24 hour hospitals are thousands and thousands of dollars. The video that I'm doing right now, just so you know, is our rescue page with over 240,000 followers. And we have a donation link on our page and we beg for donations because in reality, the normal average person, there's no money tree. There's no unlimited money and we try to explain that, you know, and they get it. So people donate what they can to try to cover the bills so we can keep going and keep saving lives. That's the only reason we're able to do this. So please don't beat yourself up, okay? 
okay? And you can stay in touch with me, and I'll keep you posted all, every step of the way. Every step of the way, all right? I'm going to get the paperwork. I feel sorry, too. She has a beautiful heart, but she doesn't have the means to care for the puppy. And we have to put the puppy's interest. He's first priority, guys. Animals are very expensive. Now I gotta try to find a surrender form in this mess. Oh, God help me. Now I know I had a surrender form somewhere in this mess, but you know, how is he doing in the front seat? Okay. Here, he's a little toy friend. Is he sleeping? can't get it now. We'll get it. I need the surrender form. I think there's one either in my glove box or on the side of that door, but he's sleeping. Yes, I personally had to take a care out care credit with Carol and my personal dog, who had insurance, mind you. And I'm still paying it off two years later for back surgery with insurance. He would have anybody else ten thousand dollars later.
brought what, honey? Like the, the diapers we brought It's okay. Pads. We're good. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah, we have a million PB pads at the house, but thank you. Is your other dog okay, honey? Yeah. Okay. Is he what, honey? He I'm not, I don't know. I felt him. Did you feel him look at you at times? Well, this morning he, he woke up fine. He, woke, he was fine. Yeah, he wasn't like, because when he woke up yesterday, he started foaming again. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's definitely something going on with him, no question. But we're not going to know anything until he gets all the blood work and all the tests that they need to run. And I have confidence in this doctor, like beyond confident with Dr. Trow. She's absolutely amazing. She's a special criticalist. All these people are so proud of you. You're doing the right thing. She's a very, very, is that your mom? You did a beautiful job raising your daughter. Oh. It's true, honey. Your heart is, <clears throat> you're choking me up. Your heart is so big. What, honey? Um, your dog's name. Oh, Just put, oh. Yeah, that's fine. have to print and sign on top of my name that's it I'm reading all these comments if I just paid six hundred and twelve dollars for my ferret with care credit it's so expensive it's so costly nowadays I had another girl reach out to me her dog was 10 11 years of age no money and her dog was in excruciating pain crying couldn't walk and she went to three vets and they all turned her away and wouldn't help her because she had no money. Reached out to me and we did x-rays and it needs surgery of thousands of dollars. So yeah, it's hard. It's really hard. Who has money like that? But who has money laying around like that? You know what I mean? So please, just you're a beautiful person. You did the right thing. Who, who is to know? You don't know, you know? But I would definitely, if, you, if you're going to stick around a little bit, reach out to that person. Just ask, say, listen, I'm, I'm at the hospital with the puppy. Have you had any other complaints? Has anybody informed you of any issues with the puppies or the mama, for that matter? Have you noticed anything? Please find out yeah, for I me so maybe we have some history. Up. Huh? I called him he didn't pick up. Right. Okay. If, if you get in touch, you'll let me know. You. It's just good to know background. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to wait. We're still waiting. You're, you can do whatever you want. You, I have no idea. This is, the, this is our life. This is our life, day and night. So if you want to call me, you can. Yes, you have my number. Just call me, and I'll let you know. Of course. You're so welcome. You guys, please stay safe, okay? Go home and love on your dog. And I promise you he's in the best hands. I'll keep in touch with you. I promise. I promise. Okay? I'd hug you if I could. I can't. <laughs> no, it sucks. No, no. no. What? I'm okay. Stuff she's saying. I'm okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Thank okay. you both so much. She can't have the puppy back, Maddie. She has no money. She couldn't even afford blood work or a parvo test. She's a sweet young girl, 21. She does not have the means. They're loving, beautiful people. They did the right thing for this dog. You have to think of, do you know how hard this is for us? Do you know how hard this is for us? You think we want to take a dog away from a family? Huh? All right, guys, I'm going to shut down and I'll be back. There's no sense of sitting here. He's sleeping. I'm going to let Tiffany. It's quiet in here. 
they most certainly did the right thing. For any of you that have any questions, they did 100% the right thing. Yes, it's heartbreaking. We have to stay focused on this dog, what his needs. They didn't have money for a blood test and pargo test. She agreed. I am sanitizing right now. Carol sanitized the pen. Hold on a second. Better yet, Carol, I'm gonna throw the pen away, okay? I'm throwing the pen away. This is straight alcohol. Is that straight alcohol? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I keep it in my car. I got the alcohol gel. All right, babe, just pen is sanitized. Hands are sanitized. Do you need some of this or you sprayed yourself already? I sprayed myself. I'm going to shut down for now and we'll come back once we have an update. So please, please, please make a donation. We're just waiting. He's comfortable. I'm going to sanitize my phone too. Thank you, Mama Susan. Um, Mama Julie. Appreciate it. The phone? Just spray the phone? Yeah. Just don't get it where you put the charger. We'll keep you posted. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Please donate for this puppy. Deuce his care and we'll update you as soon as we have any information. Amy, Tiffany, 100 plus, abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.